Hello again. It's been a while since I actually did some talking, but I think it's time. I posted a video some years ago, I'll link it down below. I'm very awkward in it, but the information is good, okay, uh, <laughs> about me being highly sensitive. And the reason I feel like there's a need for me to make another one is that I have realized that people seem to think that this is some kind of disorder or a disease. And I think that's problematic for many reasons and that's why I'd like to talk some more about that aspect of it. So a short recap, uh, being highly sensitive means, like it sounds, um, that you are a bit more sensitive than the average person to certain things. It can be things that we see, things that we smell, um, things that we can hear, things that you know, things that affect us when we're out in uh, our daily lives. And this is something that some people are just a bit more sensitive to than others. And that can manifest itself in many different ways, but it can be things like being very easily um, drained by um, social interaction or being in places where there are a lot of things happening at the same time. So we have lots of noise, uh, lots of uh, visual impressions, things like that. So as I mentioned, people seem to think that this is some kind of a disorder, something that needs to be fixed, um, and there's no way of fixing it. You will not wake up one day and go, oh, I'm not highly sensitive today. That's not how it works. And it's not something negative or something you should hide. It's really something that's very useful. It's like, it's like a bit of a superpower, in a way. Um, one in five people, have this and it's something that can be very useful if you learn how to handle it. It is a part of your personality. That's that's all it is. You are a bit sensitive to certain things. It varies a lot. You, you can't say that someone who's highly sensitive is definitely this and that and this and that. Um, it's very individual. You will probably not have all the characteristics of it. You might have one or you might have ten or you know anything in between um, and there's nothing wrong with that so now that I'm talking about this and I'm clarifying that this is a personality trait and not a disorder or a disease it might sound like I'm trying to say that there's something wrong with having a mental illness or a disease and that's obviously not what I'm trying to say here I think in general that we shouldn't let things like that characterize us as, as people like okay I'm 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 highly sensitive but you can't just put me in a box and <laughs> just decide this is what you like because you're highly sensitive and the same thing goes for any disease any mental illness any impairment whatever it might be that's that's okay and it shouldn't define you unless you want it to define you and I think most people do not so lastly, I'd just like to say that if you are watching this and you are highly sensitive yourself, don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, hopefully you're not, but I, I know that a lot of us are. Don't be so hard on yourself and just let yourself feel what you feel as long as it's not harming you in any way. It's, it's perfectly normal to feel things all the time. So that was it for this video. I will see you soon, hopefully, and uh, I might make more videos on this topic. Uh, I haven't quite decided, but <laughs> I might. Um, so yeah, bye!